Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. I'm a dude. I look like a dude, talk like a dude, have all the bits that make one a dude, and I think I'm a dude. I'm clearly male, even if one or two of my Twitter followers can't tell. I'm what they call cisgendered. What I think I am matches what I look like. This is true of over 99% of the population, but 99 is not 100. That last little bit is where we find transgender and similar people. Before I get too far, I should outline the difference between gender and sex. Stop snickering, I don't mean that kind of sex. Biological sex refers to what kind of body you're wearing. Gender is part of who you are. When someone is trans, their gender doesn't match their sex. Previous generations have referred to this as being trapped in the wrong body. Nowadays, it's referred to as gender dysphoria, although that term encompasses much more than that, and not every trans person experiences it. I can't speak too much about what it's like to be trans, since I'm not trans myself. I do know that it's real, though, and it's not a mental illness or a phase someone is going through. Transitioning between genders is not a process that is undertaken lightly. It involves counseling, hormone therapy, and usually surgery. Anybody doing all of that is not doing it on a whim. They're doing it so they can be who they truly are. So what causes this? Science doesn't yet have a complete, concrete answer, but we're working on the question. There is evidence that the structure of a trans person's brain matches that of their identity. A trans woman who was born male has a brain structure similar to a cis woman. This is a physical, documented, scientific observation. Being trans is real, it's legitimate, and it's more common than you think. Every human fetus begins female. That's why men have nipples. Guys, if you're still not convinced, check your perineum, or to use the vulgar parlance, your taint. There should be a seam there. That's where your labia fuse together in the womb. At a certain point in a guy's fetal development, a flood of hormones washes over the fetus and induces the physical changes to cause it to start developing as a male. If a person has a male identity and a female body, it just means the process wasn't 100% efficient. That does not mean trans people are broken or deformed. Transitioning isn't meant to fix a defect. It's meant to make a person feel at home in their own body. Afterwards, they're still the same person they always were. Gender identity includes more than just trans people. There's also the none of the above option. Some people identify as neither male nor female, just like you can have people who are neither straight nor gay, bisexual, or people whose bodies aren't completely male or female, but a mixture of both, intersex. People whose gender is neither male nor female are referred to as non-binary, or as well as a host of other terms to cover a whole variety in subtle nuances in their identity. Non-binary people, since they don't fit into the male-female binary, don't use male or female pronouns. Most commonly, they'll use them or they as a singular pronoun, a grammatical quirk that's been in use since the 1300s. Using a person's preferred pronoun is just polite, but it does take a bit of mental effort. I know a non-binary person, and on more than one occasion, I've referred to this person as sh they. Most people can tell the difference between a simple slip of the tongue and deliberate misuse, especially if you immediately correct yourself. If someone else corrects you, don't take offense. You're not the first person they've corrected, and you probably won't be the last. Just refer to people how they want to be referred to. That's gender identity. People who don't conform to traditional gender classification are not deviants, they're not mentally ill, and they are not defective. Transitioning from one gender to another is a legitimate medical and psychiatric procedure. If there's a mismatch between a person's body and their gender, it is far easier and safer to change the packaging than it is to mess with somebody's core identity. Thanks for watching. I've been Steve.